treatment ama kit ambaye atasaidia kupima mambo ya sukari, kupima mambo ya pressure. Lakini mimi naona watu hapa watu wengi hawana pressure pande hii. Na hawana hawana sukari. Si ndio? Watu wengi wanapiga wanatembea wana sana pande hii sasa kupata ugonjwa wa sukari ni ngumu. Lakini hata na hivyo tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunashughulika na mahitaji ya afya ya wananchi wetu pale mashinani. Na tumekubaliana na county government yenu ya kwamba hawa community health promoters ambao walikuwa community health volunteers walikuwa wanafanya kazi bila ya kulipwa pesa yeyote. Lakini sasa county government itatoa pesa nusu na national government itatoa pesa nusu tuwalipe hawa watu kwa sababu wanatufanyia kazi ya muhimu kushughulika na afya ya wananchi wetu pale nyanjani pale mashinani tumekubaliana watu wa marsabit tutatembea pamoja hivyo hivyo ndivyo tunataka tushirikiane tufanye kazi kwa pamoja tuendelee kuunganisha nimesikia mbunge wetu wariye wa kutoka marsabit amesema kuna barabara ya kutoka Segel kwenda mpaka Maikona. Hiyo barabara nikirudi hapa nitakuwa nimetafuta pesa yake tuweze kukamilisha. Na zile barabara zingine mmeniambia barabara mnataka kutoka kule juu ikuje mpaka hapa. Na Lekuton ameniambia ni kilomita mbili na ngapi? mbili. Hey, kweli mnajua kupima. So tutaangalia hiyo barabara yenu kwa sababu tuko na shughuli zingine nyingi lakini mpango yetu ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunawasaidia wa Kenya katika hali ya kusafiri kwa uraisi na mambo yale mengine yote ambayo inatuhuzisha kama wananchi wa Kenya. Mwisho. Mnajua leo mimi nimekuja Marsabit hapa. Na nimekuja hapa makusudi kwa sababu hapa Marsabit na sehemu hii ya wafugaji ndio bado tuko na kasumba ya fujo kwa wanawake watu hapa wanachukua miti wanagonga bibi yake mwingine anachukua sijui nini anapiga mtu mwingine mna e, watoto wetu hawa wasichana mnachukua panga mnawakata hiyo maneno nataka mnisikie hapa mimi pia ni mzazi maneno ya kupasha tohara wasichana tumesema ikome Mimi ninarudia kwa sababu mimi naona kuna wazee hapa wananiangalia. Muniangalie vizuri. Nimesema, nimesema hivi. Maneno ya female genital mutilation is against the law, is against the constitution, is an illegal activity and nobody and no Kenyan shall be subjected to female genital mutilation no girl no daughter in the republic of kenya should be subjected to should be subjected to such violent treatment leo hapa ndio siku ya kwanza kwa ile activism ya activism against gender based violence the greatest violence ya gender ni female genital mutilation the greatest violence kwa wasichana wetu ni kule kuolewa mapema mtoto wa miaka mbili, mtoto wa miaka tano, kuna mzee mzima anaenda ati anamfanya anakuwa bibi yake wewe ni wazimu kiasi gani unachukua mtoto wa miaka mbili, unasema anakuwa bibi yako bure kabisa mimi nataka niwaambie hapa wazee tafadhali watoto ni wa kwenda shule waende wasome wewe kama unatafuta bibi ngojea utapatana na wale wako miaka tano wakiendelea huko mbele hawa tunataka waende shule wasome na nyinyi kina mama kina mama mnanisikia mimi naambiwa nyinyi ndio mafundi eh wa operation nyinyi ndio mnafanya operation sikizeni hiyo maneno ya operation mtawacha na kama kuna mama anaendesha hiyo kazi mimi nataka niwaambie chiefs 
yule mama mnasikia yeye ndio mwenye hiyo kazi huyo mama ashikwe na afungwe miaka nyingi mnanisikia sisi tunataka hawa wasichana wetu warembo wetu waende shule wasome na ndio mimi nasimama hapa marsabit kwa hii siku ya kwanza nikiwaambia we do not want our children we do not want our daughters of Kenya to be subjected to violence in the form of female genital mutilation we want our girls to go to school we want our girls to do their best and those who are involved in that exercise must be prosecuted and jailed for a long time because they are destroying the future of our children tunaelewana jameni kwa hivyo wafanyikazi wote wa serikali washughulike na kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wote ambao wamefika umri ya kwenda shule wanaenda shule ya mwisho pia tuko na chanjo kwa wasichana wetu wa miaka tisa mpaka miaka kumi na tano kuzuia hawa kwa ugonjwa wa saratani ile HPV vaccine that is going to assist our girls in matters to do with cervical cancer we have enough vaccines in Kenya to make sure that all our girls aged between the ages of 9 and 15 can be given those vaccines so that we can protect them from cervical cancer that is destroying and killing many girls and many women in the Republic of Kenya kwa hivyo mimi nauliza wale wote wanaohusika first ladies wa counties first ladies wa constituencies first ladies wa wa uko kwa ward mimi nasikia hata mc yako na first lady ya ward hawa wote wawe campaigners wa kuhakikisha ya kwamba wasichana wetu wote wanapatiwa chanjo ili wasipate ugonjwa wa saratani wa cervical cancer ndio tuweze kuwasaidia